Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Also, like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it and hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. All right, you guys, I just did a reading for uh, April 13th and now today is the, uh, I'm doing this for the 14th and we literally just got the same card cards oh my god we got all three of the same cards as we got and you saw me shuffling so um as we got yesterday so you may want to go look at yesterday's reading the overall energy is communication is key we also have a win-win situation is forecast this one showed up yesterday um you and your loved ones are safe also showed up for yesterday's reading we've got a time to give rather than to take and then we also got this also showed up in yesterday's reading do not let the past hold you back and the next card is take time to breathe out i feel like you know not letting the past hold you back you do deserve love you are lovable i feel like it's time for you to communicate it's time for you to open up uh the signs we are dealing with is gemini libra cancer virgo uh, those uh, four signs could definitely be of importance. Those could be your sun, your moon, or your rising sign. I do want to say that if you guys are willing to open up and communicate to the people in your life, and I feel like anything can happen. I feel like then you can actually take time to, you know, to rest. I feel like, you know, communication is definitely key to whatever this is for you guys. Spirit, please show me for April 14th. As you all know, these readings are timeless, uh, but I do want to say that it's whenever you hear these messages is when they are supposed to be heard. Spirit, please show me what messages, what guidance do we have for April 14th, 2021. April 14th, which is a Wednesday, April 14th, 2021. Spirit, please show me April 14th. What messages, what guidance does the collective need? Okay, so we've got the six of pentacles. Uh, give and take. Some type of reciprocity, okay? Someone here giving some type of charity. It's time that you give rather than take. The challenge is the two of wands, okay? In the reverse. So the challenge is turning that in the upright and making the decision and sticking with it. Spirit, please show me. Okay, the next two of swords. There it is. Another two. So you've got two twos making choices and decisions that are going to be based in in groundedness okay and the next message that we have is the page of swords i feel like there could be some type of you know communication that is coming in maybe there was no couth you know and this could here we go um, then the high priestess, so using your intuition, uh, secrets being revealed. I feel like uh, this could also, you know, for some of you, you could be seeing a psychic today, um, make an appointment, making an appointment, okay. Okay, woo. Yesterday, we, you guys, we got the King of Pentacles in the same position as we have the King of Swords. And then in the other position, this one right here, we had the King of Swords, which is in reverse. So now we have the, uh, the King of Wands in the reverse and the King of Swords in the upright. So someone here who is in a place of authority, um, and I feel like someone here who has been selfish, somebody here who has been very narcissistic, um, and I feel like somebody here who is not willing to take the action that they're guided to take. Um, and the nine of wands is the outgoing. Okay, so we have two nines here. We have two twos, which is about making decisions. The five of cups, which is about sadness, loss, regret, missed opportunities, looking back at the past, crying over spilt milk, you know, looking at the things that you've lost, but not actually seeing what you're gaining from the situation. I feel like, um, you know, with the King of Wands in the reverse, I want to look here. King of Wands, the fool. Yeah, they're not taking the action. Somebody here being a fool. Someone here afraid to take action. Someone here afraid to take a chance, take risk. Okay, fear. For others of you, this could also be some choices and decisions when it comes to love. And also, I feel like fearing some type of a reconciliation as well. Why is the world in the reverse? You have two of the worlds in the reverse. So for some of you, it's, it has to do with travel. Yeah. 
I do feel like this has a lot to do with travel. You got the world. Look, you got the world in the reverse here. So some type of a situation from the past that needs to end. And then you also have the world right here in his hand. And so that's the challenge. The challenge is letting this cycle end. I think that, you know, the communication and how we're communicating is also very, very important. And I think that, you know, there can be a lot about secrets here and opening up about secrets because the high priestess always has secrets. She doesn't quite share her secrets. She doesn't quite open up. And so for some of you, you could definitely be defensive and defending whatever secrets that you have. But I feel like, you know, when it's sitting right underneath the time to give rather than to take, I feel like it's time for someone to here to give you some type of information maybe to clear the air with you maybe someone here is going to need some type of financial stability and this virgo here could definitely be the one helping it is showing up under the virgo and the high priestess is virgo pisces so you could have virgo and pisces in your chart or virgo or pisces you could be dealing with one of those signs as well I feel like someone here at the end of the day is working on definitely persevering. 2-9 says do not give up. You know, make a decision and then don't give up. I feel like you need to stop looking at the past. You need to stop looking at all the things that you have lost. See how she's like looking back, crying over all the cups that have spilled. But then there's these two full cups right over here, which is saying that this is the two of cups in disguise. There is some type of a, a very stable relationship that is here that could actually help you, you know, but I feel like you just have to be willing to, you know, accept the challenge. For some of you, that can be very scary. Let's see. What's the decision? Yeah, the chariot. Eight of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles. So I feel like for some of you, maybe this is a decision about your work and what you're wanting to invest in. And I feel like for others of you, I feel like it has to do with some type of, you know, victory and success when it comes to your your work. And I feel like you're you're definitely having to work through some type of like you know, you have a lot of different things on your plate and you're trying to juggle too many things, but I feel like successfully you're going to be able to do it. Why is the king of swords here? Eight of swords. So for some of you, wow. This is, you know, where you have been stuck in the self-imprisonment. For this, some of you, this is getting out of prison. You know, whether it's a mental prison, emotional prison, but I do feel like there's a, an opportunity like it's a second chance, I almost feel like, especially because it's, you know, the Eight of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and the Star card. So this is about your hopes, wishes, and dreams coming true. I do feel like there's going to be some type of communication that comes in today, and it's something that is going to help you understand more. And you know what? That's not surprising because she does rule the moon. She has the new moon at her feet, and we did just have that new moon in Aries. So if you look up in the sky tonight, you could very well see the, the new moon, the fingernail in the sky, which is something we haven't been able to do. I do feel like something here is trying to wrap itself up, but I feel like it's a little delayed and you need to have a little bit more patience, whatever this is regarding. Something that you've been waiting on, there is some type of karma that is coming in. There is some type, and I feel like the universe, this is something that you've been waiting on from the past. You've been like, when is this ever going to come about, you know? And I feel like, you know, the communication is key. You're going to get the communication that you need that's going to re re resolve whatever issues and whatever, you know, clarity that you are needing in this situation. And, and I do feel like this has something to do with some type of 
a reconciliation because karma also rules judgment and judgment is like are you going to you know rebirth this situation or are you going to keep trying to defend yourself against all of it and all the things that are coming at you I think that this is something that you have really wanted and you've had to stand the higher ground in order for this to come through don't let the past hold you back don't let the fear of the past hold you back don't let the fear of someone from your past holding you back. Someone here who's very narcissistic, someone here who is very cruel, very mean. This could also be a Sagittarius here. It does not have to be, but I am seeing Sagittarius. Someone, and you know, this could be the darker side of a Sagittarius. Or Leo or Aries. But I feel like you need to be willing to take a leap of faith. And overcome this situation. Nine of Wands is the Three of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. So I feel like there's this huge theme of three, okay? I see the three cups that are spilt here. I see the three here. I see the three here. I see the three here in the Devil card even, okay? I see the three of pentacles here. Okay, right there, sorry. And then I see this, the four of cups, but look at, she's offering him a cup and he's looking at all the thing, uh, all the things that he's lost. So this could definitely be something about brand new opportunities and persevering because there's been something here about missed opportunities. And I feel like you're missing out on opportunities because you're carrying this heavy burden that you need to just put down. It's an emotional burden. It's something that it doesn't feel good to you. And I feel like you're just in this place of feeling like you have to defend yourself all the time. And I feel like you don't need to do that. That's something that you've done in the past and I feel like you know there are people here that want to help you there is reciprocity there is some type of charity and if you're willing to go on the journey I feel like you could definitely have the opportunity of a brand new beginning that's what I'm getting from this so I feel like it's you know it definitely is a runoff of yesterday's reading and I feel like it's just the progression so go back and watch tomorrow yeah or yeah I'm sorry yesterday's reading Spirit, please show me what messages, what guidance do we have when it comes to their love life for April 14th. For some of you, you know, if this is a relationship, it's like you have, you know, you're tired of being breadcrumbed by other people. Like, you know, if somebody here isn't coming in and stepping up to the plate, you're just moving on. You're moving away from somebody who, you're, who is not willing to, you know, even take action. You're going towards someone here who is offering up communication and the opportunity of a brand new beginning. Spirit, please show me their love life for uh, April 14th. What messages, what guidance do you have for April 14th? Okay. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. And we again, there's that word world. And we got the world here. We got the world here. Okay. And so for some of you, you need to disconnect from the World Wide Web. There's that word world again. Okay. You need to disconnect from the World Wide Web. Get off the web. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So maybe you need to, you know, get you get to know one of your parents again or the both of them. Okay, getting to know each other. So for some of you, um, or you're just getting to know a new person, you know, there's someone here that you're wanting to offer something to, um, some type of energy to, and I feel like for some of you, you know, your challenge and your hopes and fears is that you're wanting to come out of being single, but it's like you're a little defensive, you're on the defensive side. You know, there is some type of an opportunity. And I do feel like if you're willing to love yourself and walk away from, you know, even if it's a family member that no longer is good for you, because that's what this is talking about. You know, you can retreat from family members and, you know, still love them from afar. And sometimes that's the best thing to do, even though it may cause some sadness and some regret and some loss and some grief. But I feel like, you know, in order to, you know, get to know some of the people in your life, I feel like, you know, you have to 
open yourself up because there's people from the past where there is an unrequited love situation or maybe you felt like there was an unrequited love situation but if you're willing to come back in and do the healing I'm telling you I definitely feel like something here for others of you I do want to say that it would be really beneficial for you to reach out to like a life coach uh, a psychic um, an astrologer a counselor someone here who is higher up in their field that has a communication that it is that can help you heal and I feel like if you're willing you know to to extend the olive branch I feel like it's going to be well received and I do feel like someone here is definitely wanting to an extend an olive branch to you but I feel like for some of you there's a lot of fear surrounding this situation so whatever healing that you need just know that there is a win-win situation forecast if you're willing to open up the floodgates of communication and not let the past hold you back if you're willing to open up and get to know the people these new people that are coming into your life or the the people that you've already known but that have changed and get this new dynamic of the people in your life if that makes sense to you guys and it makes sense to me but you know hey whatever anyway you guys i love you all very very much i hope you guys have a beautiful wednesday and we'll chat again soon don't forget to like share and subscribe you guys you know i do appreciate it and hit that check out my link tree it takes you to all my social media platforms. Anyway, I love you guys very much and I hope you have a beautiful day. Take care. Take care. Excuse me.